put my passion into action, but the actions cut me out for the... Good morning. I'm glad I am seeing you once again. This is the Angels in Politics broadcast, and of course you know I am the white color goon. Um, have you had your meal? Have you had your breakfast? Okay. Today, um, I would like to speak to the dreamers. Um, and I have a message for you. Um, first and foremost, I have this card on my window. Oh, well, not my window. My, my mirror that I see every day. And this is a quote from Gary V, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, and it says, your action has to match your ambition. Now, of course, this is something that people may have heard before, but maybe not. Maybe not. Does your action match your ambition? If you claim that you... Um, have dreams, have goals, have aspirations in life, are the things that you are doing on a daily basis, on a 24-7 day in and day out routine, is it in alignment? Does it correspond? Does it synchronize or synthesize with your future plans, right? So, a lot of people may say, oh yeah, of course it does, but if you're a person like me, I'm going to be honest with you and say, I mean, there's some things that I've been working on. There's, there's, it's been a long road or a journey for me. And I won't say long because, um, this is just your own process, right? Here in Angels and Politics, I have a, my political process that I, that I teach or that I am a proponent for or a proponent of, or I'm an advocate of. And, um, I speak about triangulation and focusing on the mind, body, and soul, um, but I also speak of the triangulation, uh, of having goals, having values, understanding your culture and the culture is what is whatever it is that you do. So if your personal culture isn't in alignment with your values, then how do you think you're going to get to your goals? Right? So Gary V is actually right. And there's some people who think he's a bit aggressive, a bit over the top, a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit, um, much to say the least because he's so adamant because he yeah is is so um in your face about you being the captain of your soul you're you're the you're the master of your own fate you can dictate where you want to go in life based on the small details in your life based on uh what it what it is that you're doing every single day okay so I, I come into this this video or this period and I show you that I have the word of God in my hand because this is the living flesh and this is something that is a foundational piece for me, okay? It may not be for you, but for me, this has brought me through and this is how I will achieve my goals. This is how I will get myself not only to the next level, but beyond the moon to the stratosphere because I believe in this. I believe in God. And not only... Do I need the this the living flesh as my guide? But I also need it to internalize it. Okay? I need I need it in my tummy. I need it in my chest. I need it through me. Okay? So every morning, every morning I, I need to get some word. I need to, I need to get the word in me, okay, before I do anything. Alright? And it hasn't always been like that. That's a part of the process, okay? If I want, well, well, let's articulate what it is that I want, all right? If I want to be known as uh, a philanthropist, a person who is a, a charitable and generous um, individual, somebody who can impact the lives of others in a positive and a constructive and a beneficial way, um, somebody who can inspire individuals to really achieve things that they couldn't even imagine, things they couldn't fathom, um, 
things they couldn't conceptualize based on who they've been hanging around, based on what they've been told, based on what they've been programmed and conditioned to think um, according to their family, their environment, their ecosystem, the school system, the educational system. Mm, we can even go into mm, religious doctrines. There are some people who have grown up, particularly black people, have grown up in the church. And it's almost as if they believe to the core that being financially in constraints, uh, uh, being in a financially difficult situation, in other words, to be lower income, to be poor is almost in alignment with Christ. It's almost like if you are very successful, financially successful, financially freedom, if you have financial literacy, if you have a financial education and you know how to make money work for you, if you have shifted or recalibrated your mind to not think of yourself as a consumer, but as an investor, not think of yourself as a consumer, but of a, but as a producer. Uh, don't think of yourself as a person who will receive, but as a giver, somebody who can, uh, a person of value, an, a, an individual of value. I say you as a, yourself, whatever your name is, your business, you're an entity, you're a company, you're, you're an all-encompassing uh, multimedia, multinational, multi, multi, <laughs> anything. You're, 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 you're you are a walking, talking, breathing, spiritual vessel that can transform the world. Uh, we are all linked as individuals. Um, I feel like I definitely believe in synchronicity and I believe uh, that God created the universe. And whenever he created the heavens, the earth, the, the water, the trees, the, the, when he created the elements, when he created people, he created that uh, for us to interface all together, for us to work together, for us to uh, to be in sync. And in order for you to really be in sync, you have to understand what is your true purpose. And some people may not understand that they do have special, spiritual, unique gifts that are bestowed upon you. You have these gifts. If you don't know what they are, this is okay because I'm still learning. I'm still on my journey. I'm still on my path. But I would promote spending time every single day carving out your process and your routine so it can correspond. So you can be in congruence with your purpose. Your purpose is you achieving your dreams. Never be ashamed. Never be ashamed because you have dreams. All right, there's people who become mature or grown up or realist or realistic. And somebody tells them, man, you know, you really shouldn't think that way. You, you know, you really shouldn't be going hard like that. You know, you shouldn't spend your time going to these seminars and conferences and paying money to invest in your financial education and paying money for other people to tell you about how to start your business and how to grow and scale your business and how to market yourselves. Like some people will wonder like, Hey, just get a job. Why the fuck are you going so hard for that? Like just get a job, be a normal person. And you're not a normal person. You're not a normal person with angels and politics. I want you to stand out. And I'm, I'm not saying stand out because like it looks cool. Like, no, you are an individual. Individuality is something that you should embrace. Individualism is something that we all are. Based on your confidence level, based on your self-esteem, that's how you assimilate. That's how you acculturate. That's how you blend in. That's how you fall into groupthink. That's how you're easily swayed and persuaded into taking bullshit ass jobs and, and following up with, you know, the wrong crowd, falling behind the wrong crowd or dating that individual who doesn't really respect you because they don't know who you really are because you haven't tapped into yourself. You haven't aligned your personality with your passion, positioned yourself, been able or open to pivot because you've been radically transparent because you have an open mind because you've expanded your consciousness. All right. And then you achieve your purpose. 
by exhausting your spiritual gifts. Go for your dreams, achieve your dreams. Your action has to match your ambition. If I want to be a big time real estate, whatever big time means, if I want to impact lives and be a real estate developer, a real estate investor, if I want to impact lives by you know, helping people with their physicality and, 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 and physiology and, and their health and wellness, if I want to help people financially, wealth, health and wellness, if I want to, if I want to impact lives, I have to be on my shit. Straight up. What about you? What about your business? Okay. How are you expressing yourself? How are you utilizing your spiritual gifts that God have, that God has bestowed upon you? Are you meditating every day? Are you taking time out for yourself? Are you taking time to recalibrate, decompress, deconstruct what's going on in here? Have you dissolved the ego? Have you prayed? Have you thanked God repeatedly? Have you thanked the Holy Spirit? I don't know if you have. If not, this is okay. You're working on it. You're on your process. God bless.